Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I just received the most compact and affordable smart telescope on the market at this moment. A smart telescope is a motorized automated telescope and camera that has advanced features like plate solving, go to tracking and life stacking will be done automatically. This gives us a really big advantage regarding the time that uh, we are spending for astrophotography. At the moment of this video, uh, the telescope I believe is around $395 is discounted for pre-orders. So thank you Dwarf Lab for sending me this really nice compact smart telescope for me to uh, test it and use uh, later on on, uh, on the channel. One of the most important features of this telescope is that it's really tiny, smart and easy to carry with you. Compact, packable to carry anywhere. It weighs about 1.5 kilograms. Okay, my friends, so here we have it. Dwarf 2 telescope. I think we have here some accessories. I will open it. You need to pull uh, harder and it will... Uh, it will open. We have here the astronomy filters, dwarf lab, and uh, here we do have also a filter adapter. I think this is a microscope. Probably, I'm not sure. Let's see. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a microscope here, a lens wipe, storage box, and manual. Okay, I will check this a little bit later. Now we do have also a carry bag here inside the box that was inside the box. Really nice packaging. It, it seems safe. I'm very pleased of, uh, for the moment on how the shipment arrived. Okay. I really like the packaging. It looks very safe, very professional. We do have here. Oh, we have a belt. Really uh, nice packaging. I really like the packaging. Ah, here we have a mini tripod. Look how small it is. A mini tripod that we can use. So let's say you are traveling, you can get this mini tripod, place it on the ground or on the car and just do some astrophotography. We also have here a 64 gigabytes card, memory card. Oh, ho, ho. And we have it here. Look. And I'm right. It's like a, like a large book. 1.5 kilograms. Other smart telescopes that uh, I saw, they are really expensive. Thousands of dollars. 2,000 to 4,000 dollars. So really, this one is the most affordable smart telescope I've ever seen. Here uh, we have a battery compartment and a card slot right here that we can open it and here i will insert the card here we do have a metal region that is a heat sink so this will help eliminate some of the heat the telescope will make let's check the battery also and we have also a mechanism to pull it out It says 5,600 milliamps. So it's a large battery. This is really nice. Okay. I'll place it now back. There's a slot here that we need to... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let's check also the manual here in the carrying bag. In this part, you'll have the manual. And we have... The power button here we press short and it will uh, turn on if we want to turn off we press long for about five seconds okay we have the tele here the telephoto lens and here the wide angle lens we have 100 millimeters telephoto lens we have also a wireless connection we can connect to a ah, the phone dropped
the telescope works with Wi-Fi, so we can connect to a phone. For the moment, we do have available an Android application and the iPhone application. I heard it will be available soon. We do have here a battery indicator in this part. So here it will show us uh, the level of our battery. If you do start telescope when you receive it, and it will not turn on, let's say you press and it will not turn on, don't worry, it means the battery is not charged yet. Then you can use an USB-C, USB cable to charge it here. You do have here an USB-C port that we can charge the battery. And here we do have also film that I will remove it soon to protect it from dust, transparent film. After I placed the SD card inside, I noticed that the battery was completely discharged. So I said to use my fast charger from my mobile phone to charge it. And I used this charger from my Redmi 10 Pro. It does have 5 volts and 3 amps. However, after charging a few hours, I noticed that it didn't want to charge with the, with the phone charger. The good news, I managed to charge the Dwarf 2 telescope using my power bank that has two USB ports. And I just use an USB A to USB C cable. I believe because the battery was completely discharged, it took much more time to charge at 100% or close to 100%. So the good news, I managed to charge the unit and now let's press the power button. And we can see it here. We have now all the four, four dots of uh, light here and also the circle and we do see green light. This means it's charged. At first when I discharge it, I had only one beeping here. Then after it passes 25%, it, it went passed to the second, third and fourth. It took me another two hours, I believe, to get to the 95%. Uh, it rained, it was cloudy, I couldn't test it yet for astrophotography, but don't miss the next part of the video. I will go upstairs and place the Dwarf 2 near the window so we can uh, get some views of the town at night using the Dwarf 2 telescope and the Android app. We can use the Dwarf 2 telescope also for solar imaging. We can take photos or video captures of the sun. After Dwarf Lab contacted me and asked me if I want to make a review, I checked the website and I was really impressed after I saw how many features the Dwarf 2 telescope it will offer you. You can use this telescope not only for astrophotography, but also for terrestrial views, for uh, videography, photography, and also wildlife. It's just incredible at this price range to be able to get a smart telescope that can do all these things. 
Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And I do want to give big thanks to Dorf Lab for sending me this beautiful present in December, just uh, after my birthday and before Christmas. Don't miss the next part of the video where I will test the Dwarf 2 telescope on deep sky astrophotography. I'll see you there and clear sky.